hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel civil learning online and today in this video i will be discussing about the newton's forward difference formula firstly i will be discussing about the meaning of interpolation and extrapolation then i will discuss about different methods of finding the differences and then i will move toward the formula for finding the newton forward difference and then i will solve on example based upon the newton's forward difference formula so without wasting time let's begin the video now as you can see interpolation the meaning of interpolation is the technique of computing intermediate values of a function from a given set of tabular values of the function is called interpolation suppose we take a example x and y suppose x consist of 2 to 3 numbers like 2 3 4 and the value of y is 10 11 12 this is just a example we will make you more clear uh, by using the methods for finding the differences and suppose we are asked to find the value of 3.5 then we this is the middle value of between 3 and 4 then this method is called interpolation because the we need to we are asked to find the value between the range of 3 and 4 this is interpolation and what is the meaning of extrapolation i will take the same example and then i will show you see here we have x and y x is 2 3 4 and y is 10 11 12 12 and if we are asked to find the value outside out of the range means away from 3 and 4 like 2.5 then this method is called extrapolation because we are finding the value away from the range as you can see the definition of extrapolation is also given as the technique of computing the value of the function outside the given range outside the given range suppose our given range is 3 and 4 and we are finding the value 3.5 then that method is called extrapolation let's move now come to our the different uh, method of finding the differences now as you can see there are three types of finding the differences first one is the forward difference second one is the backward difference and the third one is the divided difference i will be adding video about all these three differences and first of all i will be discussing about the forward difference and then newton's forward difference formula so let's begin the solution now suppose we are given the range x and y as x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x4 y4 now let's see how the how to calculate the for now let's see the formula here uh, forward difference is noted by delta y j j is the num number of term so here delta y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 delta y2 equals to y3 minus y2 delta y3 is equal to y4 minus y3 similarly delta square yj first one then two if we will move toward the third then it will be q so delta square y1 equals to delta y2 minus delta y1 delta square y2 equals to delta y3 minus delta y2 similarly delta square y delta q y j equals to delta q y1 equals to delta square y2 minus delta square y1 now this is the formula which we will be finding which will will be using to find the forward difference now let's solve a numerical based upon the newton's forward difference formula as i told you that this formula will be used for finding the forward difference now let's discuss about the newton's forward difference formula newton's forward difference formula it is given as y equals to 
वाई वन प्लस पी टाइम्स डेल्टा वाई वन प्लस पी टाइम्स फॉरवर्ड डिफरेंस इन फॉरवर्ड डिफरेंस वी विल टेक माइनस पी माइनस वन बाई टू फैक्टोरियल टाइम्स डेल्टा स्क्वायर वाई वन प्लस पी टाइम्स पी माइनस वन टाइम्स पी माइनस टू बाय थ्री फैक्टोरियल टाइम्स डेल्टा क्यू वाई वन प्लस सो वन सो नाउ लेट सी अ नोमेरिकल हेयर आई हैव सिलेक्टेड अ नोमेरिकल सो लेट इज फर्स्ट ड्रॉ द टेबल एंड देन फाइंड द सोल्यूशन नाउ एज यू कैन सी आई हैव ड्रॉन द टेबल नाउ लेट इज फाइंड द फर्स्ट लेट इज फर्स्ट फाइंड द फॉरवर्ड डिफरेंसेज एंड द फॉरवर्ड डिफरेंस सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू फाइंड delta y z and as you can see here for finding delta y z we have value delta y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 delta y2 is equal to y3 minus y2 delta y3 is equal to y4 minus y3 so let's find it out so here first our delta y1 will be equal to y2 minus y1 so subtract it 4.82 minus 3.49 we have got 1.33 so write it down here 1.33 similarly for delta y2 will be equal to y3 minus y2 so 5.96 minus 4.82 we have got here 1.14 write it here again for delta y3 equals to y4 minus y3 so subtract 6.5 minus 5.96 we will get 0.54 similarly let's move to our delta square yz delta square yz is given by delta square y delta y2 minus delta y1 delta square y1 our first here our first term will be equal to delta square y1 and delta square y1 is given by the formula delta y2 minus delta y1 and delta y2 is 1.14 minus 1.1 1.33 so subtract it here 1.14 minus 1.33 we have got minus 0.19 minus 0.19 similarly after subtracting these two we will get minus 0.6 and after subtracting this for finding delta q yz we will get minus 0.41 now after finding the forward difference we will be using the newton's forward formula for that we need to first find the value of p and p is given as p equals to x minus x not upon h so here our x will be 1.6 because we need to find the value of 1.6 so write it down here 1.6 minus x not now 1.6 lies between 1.4 and 1.8 so x note can be taken as 1.4 or 1.8 let us take 1.4 1.4 upon h h is the difference of x this 1 1 minus 1.4 is 0.4 again 1.8 minus 1.4 is 0.4 so our h is going to be 0.4 now after solving this we will get 0. 2 by 0.4 will be equal to 0.5 0.5 now we have got the value of p now use the formula here use the formula here we have y equals to y1 and i have taken x not as 1.4 so our y1 will be 4.82 plus p means 0.5 times delta y1 y1 will be our uh, this term 1.14 so write it here plus p means 0.5 times p minus 1 so 0.5 minus 1 by 2 factorial means 2 into delta square y1 is minus 0.6 as you can see delta y q is zero here so we do not need to move up to this term so our solution will be from here which will be equal to 5.64 5.46 and 5 5.46 and 
and we have got the value of f 1.6 equals to 5.465 which is our final answer and thanks for watching this video if you felt that the video was helpful then do share and like and if you want more videos related to civil engineering then do subscribe to my channel thank you have a nice day